Richard, we're going to look at, at I suppose, the issues that Chelsea are going to have this evening coping with Barcelona. Yeah, it's a hard on this because I've watched it a few times and I don't know which way to do it, whether it's Barcelona way or what okay. Chelsea need to do because it is difficult. But Barcelona, for all the great play, it always begins at the back. And this is it. They pass the ball. They're so patient. And they try and drag Chelsea out. For me, Chelsea need to, need to squeeze them uh, higher up the field. When they don't, the patience, patience, patience. As a former defender, I know what the defenders are doing. At the back, they're shouting, push up, push up, push up. So, as you'll see, it will go on. Still, everyone's in their positions. But then as the game progresses, the defenders then want to do that. They want to do that job. They want to close it down. Moses gets pulled out of position, a ball he's never getting to. And then this is where the gaps start appearing. And as the game goes on, more and more of this happens. So for Chelsea, you either have to go and do this pressing at the start, or you don't. Altogether, everyone sits back and everyone has the same plan because if one player breaks it, that's when the gaps open. Again here, Williams in with an opportunity, no free kick, no real, you can see Hazard trying to get the lads to squeeze up behind them, but there's no real support. And straight away, Chelsea are running back towards their own goal and Barcelona have time to get into a rhythm, pass the ball, Messi tries a, a, a true ball to, to Suarez and it's, he, it's not a foul. But from that, from that simple bit of play comes the equaliser late on. Uh, Christensen has the ball and you'll see the difference between Barcelona's pressing. They get straight onto them, makes an error on his pass, the next player slides in and Barcelona, because they're pressing, are in their box like that and they get the equaliser. So for them, for Chelsea to let Barcelona have the freedom to build up from the back is going to cause them their own problems in the long run. It's key, if they do play any kind of a pressing game, Chelsea, it's got to be orchestrated if, if one kind of doesn't go. Mm. And I'm thinking of someone like Hazard, we know what he's like on the ball and how creative he can be, but there has been games in the past where you look at whether or not he wants to do the, 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 the graft. Um, if he doesn't do it tonight, Barcelona are going to get yeah, I mean, it's a high it risk depends, game it depends you, where you do better it than anyone. Yeah. I mean, you said, you said yeah. you'd like it higher mm -hmm. yeah. I remember when uh, Mourinho took the Inter team there mm -hmm. and they had a one goal lead yeah. and they actually defended just about 10 yards inside their own half mm -hmm. so they did it deeper yeah. but at least as you say yeah. the people at the back were telling them where yeah. they wanted them and to stay uh, compact yeah as my, a team, you defend as a unit. Yeah, my concern with that Chelsea team is they don't have the discipline to do that. Yeah. Mm. I think if you say to them all sit back and defend, then that's fine. At some point in that match, Hazard's going to go, he's going to break yeah. the line, Moses is going to break the line, Fabregas will break the line, and that's when the trouble begins. So yeah. for me, they either have to be higher up or they have to sit back, but they've got to be very disciplined tonight. Uh, and as well, lads, as the discipline, they're going to need to score at least one goal tonight, and this fella is in super form. They are, yeah. I mean, we speak about the difficulties here trying to deny Barcelona on a space when they have the ball the discipline required to, to, to close down the midfield but up front when they get opportunities they're going to have to be clinical because I don't think this is going to be a game where they can afford to miss two and three chances and still expect to score Willian here this is action from, from Karabakh earlier in the season this is the first leg if he gets the ball in areas like this you know this is what he can do he was really unlucky in the first leg hit that post and hits the other post in a moment but um, he's a quality player You'd look from a Barcelona defensive position. There was one, two, three, four, five players around him. But here, he does very well, just holds out, stays away from the action area, finds space, and didn't have that much space to work with, and it was a really lovely finish. So if they can get him on the ball in attacking areas like that, we know what he can do um, if he has a shooting boots on. OK, guys, for the moment, thanks very much indeed.